So guys, in this video, I'm gonna slightly move away from doing a tech review. I'm actually gonna be building a summer house here in my garden, and I thought it'd be quite fun to make a video of it. Right behind me, you can see, we've built a concrete base where we're gonna build a summer house on top of, and I'm gonna be building a home gym inside that summer house. So I think it's gonna be a really great video to share with you guys, because I'm quite excited about this project. I've got my builders to create this concrete base first, the summer house is going to be four meters wide by three meters depth. The summer house that I will be building is actually a log cabin by Dunster House. I'll leave a link in the description where you can check this out. This one is called the Terminator Log Cabin. I'm pretty excited. We've got it all laid out here, ready to start building. So over the next few days slash weeks, depending on the weather, I'm gonna be showcasing you guys a time-lapse of the construction of this, and then hopefully the finished version to see what you guys think. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so just to rewind a little bit, this was the process of building that concrete base. We had a flower bed that spanned the whole length of the back fence there, but we cut it short to make space for the summer house to sit flush with the fence. From the entire process, building the base probably took the longest part because we had a raised concrete platform there right next to our garage, which we had to break down to be level with the rest of the flooring. To make sure we had a very strong foundation, we drilled all the broken concrete tiles into smaller rocks and buried it below the soil, and then very easily cemented a set of new slabs right on top with electric cables brought out from the garage underneath the tiles below, so we can add some electrical plug sockets inside the summer house. So day one of building the actual summer house on our base, and in fact, it was actually very straightforward. We're using 45 millimeter thick timber wood, which have a four point locking system and pressure treated floor bearers. We have to put the window and door frames in quite early on, so we can accurately measure the distances for installing them symmetrically. So now that the frames were in place, we had to simply slot into place the smaller pieces in between the frames and the remaining wall pieces around the other sides. So here's the version with the base, the side walls and the front window and door frames all in place now. And it looks very solid at this point and is really coming alive. And that completes day one to have the summer house built up to this point, which just shows how simple the process actually is. So day two, we now start working on the roof. Again, the roof was straightforward, also with interlocking slots, and then drilling them all securely into place. The roof consists of heavy duty roof purlins for support, so it's more than capable to handle load of people on top of the roof to set up the super felt. This felt from Dunster House uses thick material and an advanced polyester formula that prevents it from tearing during heavy winds or stormy weather and this completes the work for day two. Day three, the entire body of the summer house is now complete and everything is looking great and just as expected. Now, the last thing we wanted to do, which is just an extra option we chose to get from our builders, is setting up the electrics so that we have plug sockets inside and lighting on the outside. Day four, and here it is. So we went with charcoal gray up and down warm LED lights on both sides of the summer house because we have the same lights on our actual house. So to keep consistency, we decided to match it. Here you can see the electrical entry box that was installed on the side of the summer house, which we pulled from the electrics we already had flowing into our detached garage just to the side. We have the silver Dunster House badges above the window and door frames, which just give it that finishing touch. So let's take a look at the space inside. Now, I know you can't feel this watching the video, but at this point, the smell of the fresh timberwood here when I stepped in just smelled great. But that's just me and it's just a little side point I thought I'd mention. So you'll see along the edges of the summer house, we've got the white trunking that feeds the connection to the two dual plug sockets on opposite corners of the room. It looks very clean and it just gives us plenty of options to plug in different things like lights, fans for when it's hot, phone chargers, speakers, etc. The windows open outwards and both have a secure locking mechanism with a key lock as well to make it just that bit more secure. The door also has secure locking in place but the secondary door has latches at the top and the bottom to keep it in place. Now here's the preview of the lighting after sunset and it really makes it pop. We have the light switch inside the summer house to the right hand side of the main door and it just complements the garden so well. 
Every time we have guests over, we get a ton of compliments and especially when you have garden parties, it just provides another great garden ambience, so I can't really fault the look of this log cabin. So now let's fast forward a couple of weeks and take a look at my completed home gym setup inside. So this is the complete version of my home gym. As you can see, I've called it Rise and Grind and I've got this really nice neon light here. Let's take a look at some of the equipment that I've created in the gym. Starting off with the left hand side, I've got this 1.8 meter squat rack. It's a power rack from Mirafit. And I've gone with the orange and blue color tones. I just want it to be a little bit different, but I think it really complements very well. I've got my multi-position bench just underneath there with a nice blue barbell. I've put up some hooks on the walls on the left and the right sides for all of my resistance bands and belts. I've got a few accessories down on the sides on the floor here as well. So I have my foam roller, my yoga mat, my massage gun. On the left hand side I have my kettlebells and some of the power press up bars. If we come over to this side, so this is a leg extension machine and it actually doubles up as a hamstring curl machine as well. So you can reposition the different attachments here. I've got my one inch plates, but then you also have an attachment. If you've got two inch Olympic plates, you can just put that on there and then connect those plates at the side as well. I've put up some shelving there just to put a few more accessories like my wrist straps, skipping rope, Bluetooth speaker. On this side, I've got my spin bike here. Of course, if you want to get some cardio done, I think this is a great way to do that. I've got another couple of hooks here with some cable attachments because the main attraction of this home gym is this very nice space saving cable pulley machine. Now you may be familiar with this because this is called the Zero Two by Bulldog Gear. And if you have a home gym that doesn't have a lot of space for a traditional cable machine, this is very nice to have because it's only 1.8 meters tall, but it only protrudes from the wall at around 20 to 30 centimeters. So, you know, if you've got a summer house like this, this won't take up any space at all and it just looks very nice when it sits flush against the wall. It goes up to 50 kilograms in weight on each side, so you've got a total of 100 kilograms. So you need to be sure that you have a solid wall to connect this to if you are pulling very heavy weights on this. In terms of lighting in here, we don't have ceiling lights or anything like that, but we do have electrics running through the summer house. I've connected this very nice string LED bulbs that create a very warm incandescent light when you are training at nighttime. And I'll showcase to you guys some B-roll footage of how this looks at nighttime because these really brighten up the summer house and it makes it really nice to work out in. And that basically completes the build and the tour of this summer house and my new home gym, the Rise and Grind. If you guys did find this useful and you like the look of my gym and you like the look of this summer house, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. I generally don't do home improvement type videos like this, but if you did like this, drop a comment down below and maybe I'll do something like this in the future as well. And that's about it from me guys. So I'm ready to train. I'm gonna go and start my workout and make sure to subscribe. I've got really cool videos out every week and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.